everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and I thought I would try something new here. Special shout out to all of the astrologers who have inspired this format, but I thought I would do sort of a month overview for September because September feels weird and I want to tune into it. And I know some of you have wanted uh, breakouts of all the astrological signs. So what I thought I would do is I would do like a sort of an overall energy of September, okay, and then we'll break it down by sign. Now, even though I am putting a month and a year <laughs> on this video, please remember that they are actually timeless. Anytime that you feel drawn to a video, doesn't really matter what date is on it, just go on over there and check it out. Now, having said that, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be reading an energy. I will be pulling some cards and I want to just reiterate that this isn't necessarily meant to be a prediction. I know some people are like, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> what this is doing is it's giving us a heads up so that if we feel like something is coming that we don't like, we have time to make those shifts within us, okay? We are the only ones that we can control. Please don't throw this on other people, okay? So let's get into it here. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Michelle Patterson of Angel Souls and Angel Medium <laughs> and Spiritual Practitioner. So I'm going to tune in here. I'm just going to be quiet. I'm going to tune in with the intention. You could do this with me. Just breathe. Let's see what we need to know for the coming few weeks. We'll call it September. That's just how our human brains work. Floods. I heard floods. But they're saying it's not just flood as in water. It's a flood of emotions too. I'm seeing someone trying to attack and they're getting pushed back. Um, but there could be some people acting independently. Wounding. Everyone in their wounding is losing their connection with one another. And when we feel rejected, abandoned, isolated for some especially sensitive people and empaths this is a much needed time to withdraw however this comes from a fear of being rejected or being taken advantage of we will see this as a low time because the energy is low. Attacks, guys. Attacks. We've been taught a certain thing about power. And our brains have glitched and malfunctioned. Even those who have planted these seeds and ideas, they don't know what has become of us. They do not understand. And there is chaos. Erosion, landslides, fires, Blizzards, yes, in September in the Northern Hemisphere, absolutely. And scorching heat. As far as the earth is concerned, they're showing me there, there are pings coming out of us and going into the earth and it's responding. So everything that we're seeing is because we're not looking at ourselves. We're not looking at what we're putting out there. All right, can you guys, because they're showing me all kinds of different things. Can we kind of, just one message at a time. People are not choosing clarity. 
We're being very primal in our response reaction, actually. There will always be war because we war with each other from the most mundane level to the most widespread wars. Clamping down, control. People being punished for their opinions. There could even be people being jailed. Now they'll be brought up on different charges. This is not new. I know some of you, this is really pinging some of you my love to you. But they'll, they'll be brought up on charges and it's really because surveillance. They're saying it because of surveillance. It's very Orwellian. And it's a recycling of the attempts. There have been numerous attempts throughout history. They don't want us to be fearful. They want us to be aware. And if we choose clarity... The time to do this would be when you're first waking up in the morning. And just meditate before you even get out of bed. And you will have realizations coming to you. Now do not keep these surface level. These are deep, deep revelations. How certain people in your life seem to have the same effect on you. Where is the imprinted pattern of perhaps your family? If you were a scapegoat in your family, how did that pattern repeat with your friends, with your colleagues, in the workplace, with a boss? What can you let go of now? Mm -hmm. So there is very much this... Uh, Sorry, I get face tingles when I do this. <laughs> uh, there is very much this higher intelligence that's wanting to come in. But they're not going to give us this understanding if we're coming from a bad place. And many of us are. Even the ones who claim to be pure. They still want to be noticed and recognized and feel like they have a purpose. Empaths will go to try to save people because of the feeling they get out of it. But no one wants to admit that. People want to think that they are pure and innocent. We are all in a human body. We need to come from a place of pure intention of wanting to be a help to others, to connect to others in a beautiful way. And some of you might have epiphanies about how to do that. Perhaps the example that is here is music. I want to connect to others through music. But if your intention is, I have something I want to get off my chest, and I'm going to put it in music, and then I'm going to put it out there, and then whatever my anger is is going to go into someone else. That's not good enough. We need to change. If you want to put something in a piece of music because you have a message that you think will spark a realization in others and perhaps help them, that is a different intention. And especially those of you who keep saying, I just want to be famous. You will fail. Even if you do become famous, it was a failing goal in the first place. You've missed the point. If you do anything just for money, you think you get a chance to treat anybody any old way you want because you're not in a good mood, not okay. We have to be mindful of ourselves, our behaviors, and our intentions. And we can no longer be telling ourselves a false narrative. Do you do your work so that you may be validated to prove yourself? Many people are trying to prove themselves to a family, 
parents who never saw any worth in you. And this becomes such a big goal that we will do anything to get there, including doing something unscrupulous, not acting from our integrity, letting people use us or using others. People are in a mindset that their pain is worth more than anybody else's pain. And so they take advantage of others. They take people for granted. They use each other. And when someone pushes back and says no, their pride and their ego is wounded. And so they will say, what is wrong with you? They will say, there's no reason why you can't do this for me. They will expect you to alter your life to accommodate their choices, draining you in the process. September, or what we call September, is a time of these personal revelations and of releasing. It is a grand preparation. This will be one of the worst winters we've ever seen for us in the Northern Hemisphere. Of course, we know that storms are amping up. We'll see very strange weather. And we all need to be prepared. This is not out of fear. And they're saying, take joy in this preparation. Take joy in the abundance when you are able to fill your pantry. And if you are not able to fill your pantry, see how you can connect to the earth. That is the message for you. How may you connect to the earth? How may you grow your own food? How may you take care of yourself and your loved ones? And how can you do so joyfully? This is important. Because every narrative out there, and there will be many, to frighten us, to scramble us, that is it. We are all in a very, very deep scramble at this time. So we are confused. And we give up. And we cry. And we feel depressed. Or we feel anxious. Or everything that has not been healed in us. Things that we have not had space to realize because we have been dumbed down. Be watchful of the chemicals everywhere. And now, you don't even know who you are. You're not taking care of yourselves. Or if you are, you're self-righteous about it. I do this. Careful. So it's not a time of preaching at one another. It's a time of supporting one another without being an enabler. It is all about balance and harmony. There is evil in this world. Every human is susceptible to thought forms. Even if you are a spiritual practitioner, you may experience something we call depression. And it feels like other forces are getting in you because they are. But it doesn't have to be this way. We have lots of support around us. But we need to not be doing the sidestepping, not just mentally putting out some inspirational quote. You can always tell when something has come from the intellect because it's too neat and tidy. Something that comes from the heart pulls on the heart, ignites the heart. Become good at knowing the difference. There will be mourning. There will be awful events. 
awful. Everyone will be stepping up on their path at this time. And can we change this? Of course, always. And the how is by not leaning so entirely on the intellect. We want it balanced with the heart, which means you don't get pompous about what you know, because there's always something you don't know. There's always a missing piece of information. That's the beauty of being human. You always have something to work towards. You always have a purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna come back in here. I'm just double checking that I've got that still recording. So I'm allowed to come on in here and I'll, um, let's break that down a little bit more and bring it more into the surface level. And then again, we're gonna go through all of the signs and see, you know, whatever comes up for you. I'm just gonna be very open about that. <sighs> preparedness, okay, preparedness. Again, there are gonna be this is not new this is not revolutionary they keep seeing attacks there will be attacks okay and then there will be copycat attacks um of course weather and people who keep pain cycling it's like we're all going on with our lives and then everyone wants to stop and i understand you know remembering those we've lost all of that absolutely um, we should be doing that and sending them love but it's more coming from a tragic energy rather than an honoring though it'll be under the guise of a honoring it's more imperative that we shield our energy and again don't get pompous about this the world is a dangerous place and I'm too precious. I have to protect my energy. And watch for people who are um, mimicking, mimicking emotions. Again, when you're tapped into your heart, you'll know the difference. If someone bursts into tears over something, I mean, they might be really good actors, okay? Like real tears are coming down, but it doesn't kind of, like why? I'm not sure what that connection is. They might be having an, a genuine, you know, emotional reaction to that, but maybe not. Got to tune into your heart. Try not to judge, but just be aware, okay? That's where we're at. And what we're trying to do, there, there is absolutely higher intelligence on deck here. They're already all around us, <laughs> right? And they are communicating with individuals, okay? So this isn't about control. This isn't about manipulating us or puppeting us. This is about having allies with us, okay? So we're going to be supported and loved, but essentially we're at the controls. This might be a rough month for some people financially. You know what's interesting? Um, you know, certain illnesses didn't even pop up. That didn't even pop up when I was doing that. Um, and they're getting quiet about that and just kind of like, so I'll leave that for you to interpret as you will. But we did talk about war. So perhaps that fits under the, the category of war. <sighs> conniving. The conniving. People are basically short-circuiting. I mean, there, there's nothing else I can call it. Um, short-circuiting, but if you're watching this video, you have a choice to take a different path. And that's why I say every morning, before you even get out of bed, make sure you're meditating. And it's not just meditate, watch your intention. Intention is everything. If you're doing something just to check it off your list for the day so that you feel like a more complete, like do good or human, right? <laughs> check. And I do that too. I, I'm guilty of that where I'm like, I've got such a, an agenda for the day. Here's my agenda. I've got to do this and this. And I, even this morning when I was meditating, I was having beautiful insights coming in. And you know, the human part of me is like, what time is it? I got to get up and get filming because the lawn people are going to come today and then I won't be able to film and then, da, 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 like, right? you know, so all these things. And I felt I have new spirit guides who have come in um, and some new angels that are coming in and introducing themselves to me 
I would highly encourage you to be doing those kinds of meditations as well so that you can get to know some of the new team members that are coming in for you. They're here very purposefully, okay? We're coming up into big times, very much so. We have been. I mean, again, that's not new. <laughs> but, but we want to make sure that we're doing our part, and that's really what it comes down to, okay? And then going back to that example, when I uh, was feeling these new guides and angels coming in, you know, my regular guardian angel was there and all of that, but they were saying, you know, don't worry about the time. We're talking to you. <laughs> you are open to hearing this. And the realizations just came by way of feeling and this deep resonance and understanding. And there was all this clarity. Okay, so you're going to be able to get clarity for yourselves. But when you're seeing what's happening out in the world, and there will be much happening in the world, are we, again, we're talking war, we're talking um, more tax, we're talking, please do not go to crowded spaces if you feel weird about it, okay? Again, check in with your gut. If you feel like it's okay, then go. I mean, I'm not telling you to just sit at home and not live your lives. But if you feel like there is going to be any uneasiness about it on many levels uh just just watch that okay anything else guys <laughs> they're saying there's lots more but we'll save it for later it, there's a lot of information that has come through here so let's get on to each of the signs all right aries so let's see what's coming up for you for september 2021 I, whoa whoa is Okay, y'all, flying out of your bodies. Your astral projecting, I made that up. All these cards came flying out. We'll get to it here. But <laughs> just because it says September 2021 doesn't mean that you can't come back and look at it anytime. So the cards that came flying out, we have protection. So if you watched the beginning of the video, even if you didn't, that's fine. But I may have been talking about you, so you might want to go back. <laughs> just kidding, I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> but this says protection. Uh, in the beginning of the video, I was doing a channel message. It's very much we are the protectors and we may feel the need to be protected. This is that card that has that sword that is just beginning to light up. So there's a lot of truth coming out. I think for you and the way you might interpret not just like world events, but the events that are happening for you, it's like you've always been the cosmic defender and there will be a call to duty, to truth, to seek out the truth, to understand the truth, that sort of thing. But this is also in your own life. Now, this is also relationships are coming up. We have surrender and trust. Um, yeah, especially with this trust card. This, this has, you know, she has like butterfly wings and that is a buck there. So you're learning how to stand strong. But this is not a time in the coming weeks or whenever you're watching this video that you should be trying to control things. Yeah, because I'm hearing commander. Some of you are trying to be the commander of your life. And I think that's where the surrender card is coming in. You see she's going within, and then all of these beautiful ideas and inspirations are coming. So for a lot of you, I think the lesson for you coming up would be, okay, I know my strength, I know what I'm built for, but... I need to give myself that energy right now. So instead of throwing, you hear me say this all the time, instead of throwing your energy outside of you and then hoping you get some sort of positive feedback for your strength, you're, you're being quiet in your strength. It's quiet, reflective energy. And yet, yeah, sorry, they're coming in here and saying that this is your clarity, right? About how you express yourself uh, what you put out into the world. Okay, these are all the things that are going to be coming in here. And you'll know how to be a better protector. Because that's really how, that's part of your blueprint. <laughs> now, obviously, I'm not an astrologer. I'm not a full-blown astrologer. But I know enough to know that an astrological chart isn't just your sun sign, right? So make sure you're watching for your rising, your moon, and even your Venus sign. If you have concerns around love, connection with human beings, other human beings, that sort of thing. So it is time to surrender and stop pretending like you know everything. <laughs> That's the thing. Be willing to surrender to the need for more education or surrender to, you know, 
wanting to try something new, it's okay. All right. But really this is, I, I'm going to tell you right now, human to human, it feels like, like you're just, you're getting prepped and you're waiting. Now we don't want you going down the road of paranoia, right? Suspicion and you know, fear and all this stuff. It's more of, I've learned my way. I have gotten this far in my life. I'm going to trust my instincts and I'm ready for whatever comes my way. Are some of you taking really big chances in your lives? It's not advised. It's not advised for you. Okay. Because it's reserve. Yeah. They're saying you need to hold that reserve of energy. Now, does that mean for all of you, there's going to be this explosive thing, you know, later on, you better be ready. No. I mean, there's going to be stuff going on out in the world, but for you as individuals, you're learning how to better navigate. You're learning how to be a better commander and be in command of your life, your expression, your words, okay? Your expectations. Do you have people in your world that you're like, ugh, why are you so disorganized? Or, ugh, why don't you act like this? Because that's what I expect you to do. There's some deep soul shifting happening here. And you beautiful fiery warriors <laughs> are learning how to be um, humble, okay? Learning how to be humble. Uh, there's some work on the ego going on here as well. It's actually a really beautiful time. And of course, there could be things happening outwardly for you as well. But the bigger focus is going to be that internal work. It's really amazing. And I would be interested to see what's going to happen to everybody with your sort of blueprint or with this energy, what happens when, when you bring that fire within you and you allow it to get that slow burn going and, and build up that flame? What happens? Because we're all going to feel it. We're going to feel you go within. There's going to be sort of like a, okay, why is it so quiet? <laughs> what do you know that I don't know? Why are you taking shelter right now? What's happening? It'll be that sort of thing. So please take this seriously. Give yourself this chance and have a beautiful month. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going to be going on for you for September 2021. Just remember that these are, in fact, timeless, but we are going to put our focus in the next few weeks, okay? Mm. So hang with me as I say this, because I know we say this all the time in the spiritual community, but this really is a time where you're learning to have more self-love. Now, this is not in a narcissistic way. This is not in a shallow way. This is not, you know, I have to look good so I can feel validated by others. This is that true grounded, like, I'm okay. Even if I have a bad day, I'm okay. All right. And love. I just feel like all this love. Now, this love is going to be coming at you. And I know some of you are probably like, is this romantic love? If that is a part of your soul's contract, that's a personal reading kind of thing if you want to look into that um, as far as timing goes. But I think a lot of you are choosing this self-love thing, okay? <laughs> a little thing called self-love. And you're giving yourself a shot. And what's more is you're starting to go into this way of thinking of, why have I always thought that that was impossible? Let me tune into that. Why did I always think that I had to say yes to these things? Why did I always feel guilty when I wanted to just rest at home, right? Or why do I always feel guilty when I want to go out and do something and maybe I have family members who are complete homebodies who won't go anywhere with me, right? You know, it's that sort of thing where you're starting to live more for you. Now this, again, don't overcompensate and start stomping all over other people, but spread the love. Yeah, spread the love. And this does not have to be this um, super ceremonial, concerted effort. I'm going to send pink light to Afghanistan. You know, that's wonderful if you do that. But we're higher functioning beings than we were before. Okay? You can do that just, just by sitting here. Good energy out. Good energy out. Good en It's not depleting you in any way. I'm just going to put the good energy out, the good energy out. Okay. So that's what I mean when I say we're up leveling. Now, if you still like your ceremony, I like ceremony too. It's beautiful. 
you can do that, but don't let ceremony hold you up from actually doing, you know, what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't sit there and say, oh, I can't, I can't send good things out into the world because I don't have my candles lit. You see what I'm saying? All right. So beauty is one of the first cards to come out. That's what it is. It's love. It's beauty. It's harmony. It's grace. And I think you're, a lot of you, uh, <laughs> Here's grace. Grace just came out. Holy cow. Because what's going to be happening is there's going to be so much going on in hope. Um, what is this one? This one wants to come out too. Expression. Okay. So what's happening here is that I think you're witnessing so many things not only happening in your own life. This is a beautiful month of clarity for you. Clarity doesn't necessarily equate to, you know, light and airy, fairy, fluffy. Okay. It could be someone shows you their true colors. It could, it could be you realizing just how much you've put up with and how you don't need to. And there's such a beauty that comes when you realize, okay, I can love those people, but not let them treat me this way. I can love them, but do what I need to do to be healthy. Okay. It's that kind of thing. And approaching everything with beauty and grace. This is a big, this is what your energy is pumping out into the world this month so it starts with him it starts with you applying beauty and grace to everything that you're doing okay and in your attitude <laughs> in your attitude so if you find yourself i find myself getting super um you know kind of tied up in some of the negative stories out there not tied up but like you know i'm just kind of wondering why people are behaving the way that they are holding on tight to what i'm seeing i guess and that's part of my job because as a spiritual practitioner I have to know what's going on for other people around the world. I have to understand what the uh, events are and all of that. But where can I stand back and go, okay, I can better serve by being aware, of course, but then transmuting this energy. It's very Archangel Zadkiel, Z-A-D-K-I-E-L, Z-A-D-K-I-E-L kind of energy, transmuting that. Okay, so you're getting really good at processing, I think is what I want to say and turning everything into beauty. Now, expression could be some of you very literally uh, learning how to speak your truth, okay? But you can speak your truth through action. So for example, if you've always maintained a certain relationship because you always gave into that other person, you always kissed up to them, you walked on eggshells, but darn it if they're not gonna turn around and say, you're the one who makes me walk on eggshells. Careful with that. <laughs> Careful with that, people who are spinning narratives, you know. You might say, okay, you know what, I, I love you, but I'm not going to behave the way you expect me to. So one behavior might be, maybe you're used to uh, texting back right away. Because if you don't, the other person's gonna get really mad at you. You know what I'm saying? And so you're always on edge, like, oh, I didn't, I'm so sorry, I didn't see your text until now. And they still act like, whatever, it's okay, I guess, right? And you start to not give into it anymore. Now, I'm not saying just be emotionally abusive and start giving people the cold shoulder. I mean, you can answer them, but you don't have to give them too much of you, okay? You're learning how to express from a pure place that still honors you, okay? And then we have this hope. So as things start to transpire, as things start to go down, um, the economy is going to be shifting. You guys, I'm telling you, watch the housing market. Oh, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay, for some of you, oh, hi, okay, almost dropped the card. Uh, for some of you out there, this gives you a little hope because maybe wherever your region is, okay, maybe the housing kind of levels out and you're like, oh, thank God, or maybe it even drops. <sighs> oh, man, something happens that gives you a little bit of hope, but you might feel a little bad for the people who thought, well, quite frankly, they were people who got greedy, there's a bit of that coming up. So we're gonna see a downfall of that. So this could be housing bubbles bursting. I mean, you know, this sort of thing and people kind of hunkering down, but there is hope here. There is hope. There's hope for where you live, okay? There is hope for how you live. So again, you're gonna be getting some clarity around this about, you know, housing keeps coming up for you guys. I don't know why. Um, so no matter where you live, maybe you're, you know, improving your home, but the, it's not just so it looks nice. 
you're improving your home for the flow of energy that you have going through your home. Okay. I don't know what that means. I heard hoarding, like some of you are hoarding. And it's deeply connected to this fear of, well, there was one time where we couldn't get what we needed. That might happen again, right? I actually just gave a bunch of quinoa away to my nephew. <laughs> Cleaned out my pantry. I said, here, this is from when I thought we were all going to die. You want this? Can you do something with this? You know, I mean, so it's not really you taking that kind of approach. It really is this appreciation for what is, what is already there for you. Um, writing is coming up. Did I say that before? Yeah, writing. So this might just be you journaling and that's how you get your clarity or you might actually be a writer but you know in this day and age everyone thinks they're a writer i mean that's wonderful but <laughs> everybody and, and your writing is a powerful form of expression uh again just watch your intentions around all this so again it's you guys just kind of learning to uh, look at your own opinions of things you're it's a lot of self-love it could be romantic love but don't go rushing into something just so you have someone i'm t i can't even it's a new day, honey. It's a new era, okay? You can't do that anymore because it's just going to fail. And then you're going to be down in, you know, this low frequency going, oh my God, what happened? Well, you were more concerned about having a crutch perhaps in your life or you were more worried about what your parents were going to think of you or your friends were going to think of you or you were getting jealous, right? I have to hurry up and get somebody because all my friends are getting married. It's that sort of thing. And again, when it comes to babies and pregnancy, because that's kind of coming up here too, make sure you're having children for the right reasons because you love children and you want to nurture and raise a child, not because, oh, I, I got to pass my legacy on or I want someone to love me. You know, these are not good reasons. You can't put that on a kid, okay? So a beautiful month, I think. Again, you're going to be rumbling with all the turmoil you're really going to be in charge. This is going to sound so silly, but you're going to be in charge of earthquakes. Okay. <laughs> what in the heck is she talking about? I know. Okay. But I'm saying like, you'll feel it. Now that earthquake could be metaphorical. If like you feel like someone's about to have a huge, you know, turn in their life, or you feel like some of you out there having a major turn, um, you don't be afraid of the shakeup. Okay, don't be afraid of the shakeup because people are going to try to pull you back down and say, no, you're not allowed to be happy. I'm going to sabotage you because I, it just made me sick to see you acting like that. Acting like what? I don't know. You're all giddy and stuff. It was just so annoying. People say that. It's been said to me. <laughs> okay. Where someone tried to sabotage. Um, I was engaged at one time and was never married, but I was engaged and we we're planning a wedding. And someone saw that I was happy and was trying to sabotage it at every turn. So we are starting to, to transmute that sort of energy. And um, yes, that could physically be earthquakes. You'll have the calming effect though. Even if it's like after the fact, you can start processing some of this love on out there. And this helps sort of, I'm hearing like soothing the earth. There's a big energy of soothing. Okay. So we're going to leave it there and on to the next sign. Gemini, let's see what's going on for you for September. And I'm going to use the Archangel Michael deck for you all. We have this. <laughs> we have eternal love. We'll talk about it. Oh, really? <laughs> Cards jumping everywhere. I love it. You're on the right path and prayer will help this situation. So let's start with eternal love. Anytime this card, I've been using this deck pretty much since it came out and um, years ago. To me, this eternal love card is talking about karmic connections. Now, everybody has their take on karmic connections. Let me just read the card first. It says, help me perceive all the love that surrounds me that I can feel safe, so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. So this is healing heartbreak. For some of you, this is activating your heart opening that heart space but this eternal love card i'm going back to that karma thing now karma doesn't always have to be bad but if you do get what we typically refer to as a karmic soulmate that could be that false flag soulmate that could be that person that comes in and love bombs you and says i love you i love you we have this deep connection well yeah you have a deep connection because in a separate timeline they shoved you off a cliff okay and that's why you feel this like 
oh, I feel so drawn to you, but why? You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are the healthiest for you. Karmically speaking, yeah, I mean, you're working through some stuff, but eternal love, as I want to give it to you, is talking about a karmic cycle. Okay. You good? Okay. Because <laughs> you might be like, eh, like, no, but it's fine because you're on the right path. This is Archangel Michael. I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with courage and confidence to make helpful life changes, which includes learning what you need to learn from um, any partnership that comes in, any relationship, any situation that occurs. Now, some of you are going to be sitting there beating yourselves up and saying, I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. My old career, you know, doesn't feel right. Or my old way of life or this place that I live, none of it feels right anymore. It's because we're in a new era. And we're completely different people than we were even just a couple of years ago. Okay. So you are absolutely on the right path. You're doing what you need to do. You've learned the lessons. I think this, though, is going to be a time. Yeah, it could be conflict. I heard conflict. <laughs> it could be a lot of conflict. Make sure you're not being like a word bully. I'm going to outwit you. I'm going to out blah. It's just going to come back on you, especially if you are in a karmic situation. That's not good. Don't create more of that. <laughs> okay. So this says prayer will help this situation. Dear God and Archangel Michael, and then you can put in anybody else you pray to. I ask for your divine intervention, and then you describe your situation. Uh, I welcome your help, and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle. See, this is where some of you are feeling that conflict, right? I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me in this situation quickly. Thank you and amen. Some of you have um, your workplaces closing or something is shifting. Or you, really, I think what's happening for a lot of you is you just wake up and you're like, what am I doing here? This is nothing but toxicity. Nobody believes in me here. It's not like you should be working towards validation necessarily. You do it because you love it. Maybe you realize you don't love your work. Okay. Or maybe you realize I haven't been fair in a certain situation because I haven't actually said how I really feel. Right? I'm expecting everyone to read my mind. So there is this sense here of discovery, of acknowledging, of, you know, feeling out like, okay, that doesn't work anymore. That's not who I am anymore. But making sure that you're communicating that without trying to overpower somebody. I'm thinking of an example of some of these, um, I don't know what you would call them. They're not journalists. They're just, quite frankly, pretentious people who go out in the streets and they're interviewing people about, um, I, I don't know if the industry calls it a hot take. <laughs> I don't know. They're just trying to get themselves attention for some controversial topic. And they're going out into the streets and antagonizing people. But they're not just antagonizing people. They're going up to people who might have um, something kind of quirky about them. Or in some cases, they might even have a mental disorder. And they're exploiting that. They're going up and trying to get the person to sound stupid. Uh, going up and trying to get them to, to make them seem like they are the intelligent one. Okay? It's really gross. It's really disgusting. I'm not saying that you're doing that. But there might be some temptation to sort of like word roll over somebody else and just be like, no, you know, like, well, what about this? And what about that? And like, <laughs> just trying to win a word war. So watch what you're saying. Watch your communication and watch the, um, you know, for some of you, it is arrogance. It is arrogance for some of you. I don't think you're meaning to be arrogant, but it's the way you're coming off. So be careful with that. Uh, that is a big lesson when you're getting feedback from people like, hey, I don't, I don't need you to be so mean. All right. A lot of you are learning and kind of waking up to, okay, I'm being defensive. Or you know what? I'm communicating from a place of fear. Or I feel, or maybe I'm so fearful that I'm going to be rejected that I'm putting my wall up and then I'm not letting anybody in and now I'm not really connecting. Okay. It's all of those kinds of things. So it's that kind of self-discovery. Or maybe you'll start that process of letting that wall down so that you can have more authentic, really is what it comes down to, communication. All right, we're going to leave it there for you and get on to the next sign. Hello, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you for September 2021. Please remember that just because I'm putting a month and a year on it does not mean that you can't get 
messages from it at another time. If you feel drawn to this reading at any point in the future, by all means, go ahead and, and look at what's there. So first off, we have focus upon divine and perfect health. Yeah, this feels like physical health and mental and emotional health. So some of you might um, be working on deep, deep patterns. Prayer will help with this situation. You're freeing yourself. You're freeing yourself. I think I have like a fuzzy on my face or something. Something's tickling me. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> prayer will help with this situation because, you know, you're known for being very in your feelings, <laughs> right? And this can, if it's not grounded, could lead you to get really, oh, the last sign just got this. I think it was Gemini. Yeah, that would have been the last sign. So um, eternal love as well. So here's the overall feeling. So you're, you're getting in your feelings. This could find you sometimes feeling powerless getting to that low frequency of why can't everyone just get along? I'm waiting for all the fighting. I'm waiting. Ah, oh, why? You know, you're getting really pulled by people who, especially out in the world, who are fighting over things. You just want everything to be fine and peaceful. And why the heck can't we just get to this already? <laughs> but what's really happening for you is you're learning how to process. Okay. Now, I think I mentioned that in the intro, but, um, you know, you're learning how to, uh, understand that things are going to happen and you need to make sure that you were doing everything for you. I, I have a cancer moon and I was just meditating yesterday and I was having kind of a rough day and I felt kind of low and I was like, oh God, you know, I just want to be happy. I don't want to be rich or famous or anything. I just want to feel stable and be happy and be contributing something good to this world. So at least I made the most of my life, right? Which is even kind of like a selfish intention. And I was, you know, meditating with my angels and guides. And they said, if you want to be happy, then just be happy. And you would think, like, that's the dumbest thing ever. Like, <laughs> who says that? But it landed. And I realized it's my perspective. It's my perspective on things. If I look at something and go, oh, God, my apartment's a mess. I, I've been too busy to clean it. I hate this. Man, I just, I can't stand where I live. Right? It's very easy to start tumbling down and beating yourself up because you couldn't get something accomplished. But if you want to be happy, then be happy. So my apartment is dirty, but that's okay because I've been busy. I mean, a little thing called reframing, right? <laughs> but what I'm getting at here is that we, uh, especially if you have Cancerian, you know, sun, moon, rising, check your Venus sign if you want to do that. Um, it, it, we can get swirled in negativity and we can take too much on and it's all out of fear. Yeah, because they're telling me that uh, some of you out there, sometimes you feel emotionally out of control. <sighs> Ugh, this gets kind of big. Um, <laughs> so it could go down the road of um, I overreact to everything or I don't react at all because I'm just like, Poop. you know, I'm in my shell, leave me alone. I'll peek out and see if the storm's over. But if it's not, I'm going back in. Y'all figure out your stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing this. But they're wanting you to balance so that you can you can find more harmony and peace. And you can be happy. You know, you know it's not like we're going to be happy about what's going on out in the world. But we can have gratitude. That's really where that comes from. So your cards. All right. So this is focus upon divine and perfect health. Uh, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. Here's the deal. Some of you might be emotional eaters as well. Totally. What, uh, you know, I'm like a little puffer fish thing. You know when I'm stressed. I'm prickly <laughs> and big. <laughs> That's that's what happens, okay? So <laughs> if you're eating your emotions and doing all of that, or you haven't, um, you know, maybe you haven't been getting up and exercising, or you're feeling self-conscious about this, or you quite haven't found what works for you, it's okay. The message here, of course, under the guidance of your doctor, and of course, getting with a, health, a mental health care practitioner, if you're ready to start therapy or something, be very discerning about who you're going to and who you're listening to, Okay. Just because someone's a therapist doesn't make them a good therapist. And same with doctors as well. Just be discerning, but check with a professional in that area. But I think what this is saying is you're getting some, because I'm hearing enlightenment. It's like, oh my gosh, I tried belly dancing. And camera just said, I stopped. And I was like, why? 
<laughs> I don't know. So I don't know how. Anyway, let's go back. Let's do a pickup here, okay? And say, like, this could be that kind of thing where you have this epiphany that, you know, I was using the example of belly dancing. Like, I tried belly dancing, and I love it. Uh, it does more for me than just gets me moving. It seems to move my energy. I'm excited about it. It feels like a hobby. It feels like something I can be passionate about. You know, that, that might happen for you at this time. And you're not going to be pressured. So here's an example with that too. I used to go through this. Ugh, Lord, let me tell you a story. So I used to be a member of the Equinox Gym in New York City. Uh, you work there. You got questions. I got answers. Okay. <laughs> Reach out to me. I'll tell you all about it. But no, I, <laughs> I would go with these coworkers and we would go into these classes. And there were things that they loved doing that I was just like, I feel like I'm being tortured. I mean, like I couldn't keep up coordination wise i'm like oh, this makes me feel bad about myself i don't need this okay <laughs> i don't need this in my life so it might be you saying you know what friend i know you like that fusion kickboxing yoga triathlon thing at the gym but i hate it okay now listen i might go to one class with you but you gotta go to the belly dancing class with me be really hilarious if you have some guys who are like thinking of the people I used to go to the gym with they would never have taken a belly dance class but whatever it's that kind of thing where you're saying no that doesn't work for me okay let's try something else let's try a nice compromise okay so then we have prayer will help this situation so definitely coming into September there's something really big on your mind and I bet there's been so much for a lot of people around home the housing market is unfair it's unjust it's um it's another form of control. And a lot of us are not loving on that. Um, so some of you, if that's the case, prayer will help this situation or you're looking for your new career and you're like, it's September the time. You very well could be. But you know what you're doing? You're inventing something on your own. Interesting. So again, these are not personal readings necessarily, but there's this sense here that you go off and you do a service on your own or whatever you want to create. Maybe you're an artist or something like that. And all of a sudden, the energy shifts from you scrounging around and hoping for breadcrumbs from people, whether that's hoping for a raise from your boss and you go off and do your own thing or, or you get a side gig going, you know, that could be it. Or it could be like, let's say you're an entrepreneur and you're just always trying to hustle to like get the clients and, you know, sell the product or whatever it is that you're doing. And then you ease into it and you say, no, I'm going to come from a place of just wanting to help people, but not in this like codependent kind of way, in the sense that I genuinely want people to be happy. And then you'll get inspired and then you'll create something. And now the energy shifts. Now people are coming to you and asking if they can get a minute of your attention. Now they're coming to you and saying, can we collab? I would love to collab with you. There could be some big opportunities for some of you out there. So this says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, uh, did I read this already? This card has come out a couple of times. Now I'm confused. I'm going to read it again anyway if I haven't. <laughs> anyway, Dear God and Archangel Michael, anybody else that you pray to, I ask for your divine intervention. Describe the situation. I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me in this situation quickly. Thank you and amen. So as I read that, I feel like um, a lot of you out there, it's a very freeing time. I'm not going to say it's going to be a great month. There's all kind of stuff going on. I'm telling you, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough out there, but it doesn't have to be rough in here. Okay. I think that's, that's really why I kind of wanted to break this down by sign. But I think what some of you are doing is going, you know what? The reason why I haven't progressed in that area is because I've been narrow-minded about my own capabilities. I've been very narrow-minded about what resources I have access to is a beautiful day. You got things like Skillshare, you know, you got, you got these things that you can learn things online. You know how many times I've learned Final Cut Pro 10, <laughs> but I hate it. So no, I, it keeps crashing on me and, and I have a powerful machine that I keep clean and it still keeps crashing on me, but I don't need all those fancy things. I don't do fancy things with my videos. It doesn't matter. Now, looky, looky, y'all. You have eternal love. <laughs> and I was telling, I forget which sign it was. I don't remember. But, you know, I said, anytime this card comes out of this deck, I always think of karmic love, which can be good. 
or it could be really bad. It can be like what we would perceive as bad. But really what they're doing is they're showing up and they're really teaching you something deep, okay? Um, they're really trying to get you to see things in a different way. So this has some feeling where some of you are bringing um, what we would describe as a karma, you know, kind of how we would think of as a karmic situation where it's learning the lesson over and over and over again, you're finally letting this come to a conclusion. And I feel like a lot of you are, because you're making peace with, not all of you, <laughs> some of you out there are making peace with like a karmic deep soul connection, past life thing. If you see it that way, I don't see it as a linear way. It's just all timelines happening at once. Um, but then this opens the door. So for some of you who are single and you are looking for love, th this could be like, it's like the moment you let go of that person that you've been hung up on, new love comes in. That's definitely happening for some of you. Yeah. For others, you're still in the loop. And that's okay. It's not a bad thing. It may not be fun, but you're still being perfectly human. Nothing wrong with that. Help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. Again, <laughs> someone comes in out of the blue and you might, for some of you, and you might be like, I don't know about all this. Okay, I don't know about all this. <laughs> right? And little by little as you get to know the person, you realize that they, um, you know, they don't necessarily represent the old energies that used to come to you because you're not in that same energy anymore. Okay, so have a good month, everybody. Take care. Hi there, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you for September 2021. So before I even grab the cards, there were a couple of things coming up. So I heard humble heart, love, and um, integrity. And it's a beautiful feeling. Now remember, this doesn't, <laughs> I've had people come back and they're like, oh my God, how could you say that it's gonna be a great month for Leo? wasn't Leo actually it was a Gemini person how could you say it was going to be a good month for my sign and all this stuff is going on out in the world <laughs> We're talking about your energy right so so that's part of what's going on here so there are going to be things happening out in the world of course and they're going to be big unless we change something okay energy can do that <laughs> right that's why we do these readings so people like this is the road we're heading down. Do we want to change course? And I think when we talk about integrity, some of you are learning this lesson. Again, it's very freeing. It's very beautiful. You're learning this lesson of I don't need to try so hard to feel worthy. I can love myself in a healthy way. I can love in a healthier way. There's something around integrity. So I feel like some of you might be walking away from a situation. It does. Now, for some of you, it might be a love situation that you're, because we did feel love coming up. Um, it could be that. Or I feel like it's more like a job where someone's wanting you to do something not on the up and up. And... I'm sorry to say that and this is rough, but for some of you, it's like a boss propositioning you. Had it happen. I know everyone's, <laughs> I've had that happen a couple of times in my life where the boss propositioned me. I had one who wanted me to be like basically a kept woman, if you know what I mean. Um, bizarre, <laughs> just super bizarre. But you know, for some of you, it might be something like that. So um, but what's happening is you're finding your power through this. So it's not like, revenge it doesn't have the energy of revenge i'm gonna get you back for doing that to me um it's more of i am in charge of my body i am in charge of my choices and you handle it but you handle it with grace and then an integrity and then you come on out of it and the clarity oh my god the clarity this is going to be all about clarity for a lot of people where for you, it's not a devast. Well, for most of you, it's not a devastating clarity. Like, oh my gosh, I see how you are. I'm out. It's more of a clarity about how well you can handle yourself. Mm. Yeah. I'm hearing fierce. Like you're just you're fierce, but it's like a quiet fierceness. 
it's the kind of fierceness that doesn't need to be said. It just is. <laughs> right? So be careful. It's not like an egotistical thing. It's just sort of like, I'm just going to be in my power. Right? So the humble heart, this is heart to heart conversations with people. I love this because your light is so beautiful and people really do benefit from that. And yeah, I, I, I think you're, which deck do I want? Let's do this deck for you guys. Um, I feel like you're kind of helping someone get through or lifting them up. It's sort of somebody who has stopped believing in themselves. This could be a sibling, this could be a coworker, it could be a love partner. And maybe previously you would have been like, let's drop the deck. <laughs> um, you would have been like, oh my gosh, will you buck up? I got my own problems, right? And this time you're, you're taking time for compassion and you're starting to see where the other person's coming from and you just have the right words if they say so they might tell you like leave me alone then leave them alone if that's what they want <laughs> but but it does feel like there's a nice heart to heart a beautiful connection going on here and again that could be love if you are single but um as always don't settle don't settle these things are here to teach you something all right so guys, we have for you change. Change is in the wind. And again, it's you have a completely different reaction to things than you would have in the past. You're shifting your heart. Oh, I love this for you. Oh, I love it. Uh, now this is gonna be uncomfortable because the brain's gonna go, no, <laughs> change, no. But I don't, I don't know if you can see this little owl up there. He's bringing you wisdom. He's bringing you... See, what's funny, he's bringing you uh, messages and guidance. But what's funny is she's all like hanging on. It's kind of like, uh, she's kind of just like, okay, I'm just going to give in to this thing. There's a storm coming. Okay, fine, whatever. Bring out another thing. But this owl is just in here. He's looking straight out. He is not bothered by that wind. Okay, he's not bothered. He lives in the trees. He knows what wind is all about. <laughs> he knows what change is all about. He's, he's living in the elements. So that is really what's happening here is you're becoming more and more resourceful. All right. Discernment. Do not give in to gossip. I'm telling, remember how I said it was like might be somebody who's propositioning you or trying to get you to do something that's not on the up and up. Um, and you're not allowed to speak it. You're trying to pretend like you didn't see it and you didn't hear it. Unfortunately, this is a tool used by a lot of people in power to control others. I can get away with doing whatever I want. Because I'm going to threaten you if you, you know, act like you heard any of that. But uh, let me see what this is. Expression. And we're going to get this one off the bottom of the deck. So it's kind of sticking out. So we have expression. And then we have freedom. And again, how interesting. I was just saying, like, there's a part of you that's been silenced. It feels like a work situation, I'm telling you, <laughs> or a professional situation where you're not allowed to say anything. Or if you're like, let's say, and this is kind of a weird way to look at it, but let's say your profession is being in a relationship. I don't know. Maybe you're somebody who married into royalty. You're some, I, you guys, I know that seems like a really off comment, but I have clients who are royalty. <laughs> so, you know, maybe you got married into a situation or, you know, maybe it's the American style of royalty which would be oh like what the, the fancy families whatever anyway point is where you have to keep your mouth shut you see how she's got that mask across her across i said across across her face and she has all these ideas and all these things that she wants to say but she can't why image you can't express yourself because of image that's all changing and we have freedom as an american i think of freedom of speech I, I think of, uh, you know, you know, standing in your truth. And, and that's the feeling that's coming up here. You have freedom. You're, you're standing in your truth and you're saying no. You're being discerning. You're saying, I'm cutting free of this. But it's not in this sort of rebellious energy. Remember, rebellion can be a good starting point. But it's just that. It's the spark. It's the spark that gets you going on something. But if you keep wallowing in rebellion, eventually you're just stabbing your own heart. You're not, now you're just annoying to most people, but you're hurting yourself. 
okay? So make sure that you're really looking at all sides of a situation here, trusting what your heart is telling you. You're not being silenced anymore. You're not being silenced. Again, it has this nice energy of empowerment. All right, so we're gonna leave it there for you guys. Have a good month. Hello, Virgos. Let's see what is going on for you for September 2021. I have this lovely feeling for you as well. Please know this is gonna be a rough month, you know, for most out there and for anybody who's in a low frequency. It's gonna be a rough month. But for you guys, guidance. You have this guidance and it's so funny. It's not like the pompous person who says, I know how you should live. Here's how it goes. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Unless you're somebody who is trying to diminish. Like I've had people come up to me and try to diminish my life experiences. And I'm like, no, that's not how it went. It went like this, this, and this. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who, even though they haven't gone through that themselves or they don't have, they read one book on it. They try to pretend like everything, <laughs> like they know everything. You're not guiding in that way. It's sort of a surprising guidance like, oh, well, if that's a problem for you, I did it this way, this way, this way. I have extra. Do you need some to go fix that? Like, you, you didn't mean to, like, be the hero of the day, but you did. You came, you showed up, <laughs> right? or, you know, something along those lines. So you might have some bit of guidance that you didn't even know was worthy. It was worthy. Uh, I remember I had... I had something happen in my home and it was a repair that needed to be done and I'm like oh my gosh how in the heck am I gonna get that fixed like I have no idea my dentist used to be a carpenter and bizarrely I'm at a dentist appointment and he comes down the hall he's like what well, what happened oh that's easy you just do this this and this and he's writing down what materials I need and exactly how to fix it I mean I was like seriously like you <laughs> take care of my teeth <laughs> and now you have, like he was like the most beautiful person in the world to me in that moment because he just lifted a huge weight off of me and that's what's going on here you have something that you've been through that you've had to endure sorry something popped up on my phone I just want to make sure we're in fire season I didn't want to <laughs> just sit here in case there's a fire alert going on or something along those lines anyway point is is that you're going to be able to help lift somebody out of a situation or you'll have words of advice you know that sort of thing now one of the cards that popped out for you is intention. This is a beautiful month for a lot of people. It was really weird when I sat down and started doing these, I'm like, oh, I feel like a heavy energy around September and I'll give the overview and then I will go into each sign. Y'all are fine, okay? You're doing great. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you are the ones that have your hearts open, right? So even though there are gonna be things going on out in the world, you're going to be steady within yourself. And intention pops up because you're going to be shifting and realizing what kind of energy you put out there. Yeah, like I really wanna be successful, but I feel like everything I do is stupid or <laughs> right? I really want to you know, be able to expand. And yet I'm afraid of what that might entail or I'm afraid of how much time that would take uh, you know, from me or, or from my family or, you know, whatever. It's like, will I be capable of learning that new thing? So really look at your intention, you know, not just this month, but always, and make sure that you are focused and not just giving into some sort of negative narrative about you that perhaps somebody put to you. Does that make sense? All right, guys, let's see. Let's see what else we have here for you. right nature so i really feel like you guys are i i just heard laying low like you're definitely laying low and maybe reconnecting with nature all right then we have awakening again this feels like clarity it's kind of like waking up and saying okay you know what i don't need to push myself so hard you know what i don't need to save everybody I can offer my words of advice and then they'll go off and handle it on their own. They just need a little reassurance or what have you. I want to get another card here. Impatience. <laughs> I'm telling you, because I was feeling with that nature card, I was feeling like people are going on like a retreat, but not a retreat with other people. Not one of those ones that you have to pay for and you have to travel to it and all that stuff. It doesn't have that. I mean, you might be doing that, but it doesn't have that feeling. It's like, I'm going to go off by myself and... I'm gonna read a book or I'm gonna do some writing or I'm gonna go practice piano and you're kind of, she's got her eyes covered. 
So yeah, you're providing a lot of health and healing kinds of things for yourself here. Giving advice to others. <sighs> some of you, it's going to... Uh, I feel like you might already know this. So some of you might have gotten like a scare. Or... Like you had some sort of breakdown. Like a... I don't know. It could have been like a mental thing as well. An episode. That's what I want to call it. Like you had an episode of some sort or like you got a migraine trigger or something. I just came out of one of those. It lasted seven days. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. Okay, anyway. <laughs> you might have gotten something like that and you wake up and realize, I'm overworked. <laughs> okay, I'm getting pulled in too many different directions. My energy is getting spent. And so you back up. It's very much going into nature and just kind of, I wouldn't say you're not doing anything. It's It's more like, I'm going to do the things that I never give myself. Well, it's leisure time, right? So you, you're doing stuff that you never give yourself a chance to do. Yeah, 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 I'll sit down and read that book. But I'm always so busy. I never make time to read. You know, it's that sort of thing. So really recharging your batteries and smoothing things out. I'm hearing smoothing things out, but realizing your part in it. Now, that doesn't mean, because don't you hate that? When you're going through something really rough and someone's like, well, how are you to blame? They're trying to be so smart with the reframing. Even therapists do this. Uh, and really, it's not helpful. <laughs> it's kind of toxic, actually, because I'm upset right now. Later on, I will look at <laughs> like how we got here. But that's the wrong place to go when someone's in this heightened emotional place, right? So, you know, this is this is more about just kind of letting things, letting, letting the chips fall where they may, offering some words of advice, learning from it, and then you're stepping back and saying, I'm be gone for a couple of days. No, you can't come along. I did that when I went to Maui. I had everybody, and it was all the annoying people who I knew, you know, these people wanted to go along with me. And these were all controlling people who acted like I'm their personal assistant, wanting to come with me to Maui. I'm like, you're out of your mind. If you think I'm gonna let you come with me, huh? -uh. Like, I'm trying to retreat for myself. So it has that kind of feel about it where you are turning people down. Again, you're helping out, helping out some people, but then you're setting that boundary and you're saying, no, it's me time, okay? Whatever that looks like for you. But we did have that nature card in there. So there's this detoxification, there's this regeneration. And I feel like it comes from stress-induced. Uh, Health care seems a little big. Uh... But it gets your attention. Something definitely gets your attention. All right. So have a good month, guys, and take care. Hello, Libra. Let's see what is going on for you. Okay, so we have a little bit of a rough energy for you guys. It's okay, though. It's okay. This is just how it kind of, like, you're trying to be even. Maybe you're putting a little too much pressure on having a perfect life. Um, and you're just wanting to do your thing. You're just, and then... I just heard Scorpio too. So I don't know if you have Scorpio in your chart or if a Scorpio is actually coming at you. <laughs> but someone's coming in being like an emotional tornado, okay? And we'll see how you're supposed to handle that because I just feel like you're going, <laughs> what? What What goofy thing do you expect me to do? This would be those needy, um, entitled people. If you have any of those around, yeah. Um, Everything is drama and you're constantly supposed to just stop your life to help them figure out that it's probably figure out a problem that they probably brought on for themselves. So this is bringing with it some understanding of yes, boundaries, but also where might this person be coming from? Where, why don't you think you can handle this? Uh, you know, this could be com somebody coming to you and they're waiting for them. And you say, you know, you could always just do this. And they're like, I could, but I just, you know, they prefer when someone's paying attention to them. That's what's coming up here. They prefer, or maybe it's you. <laughs> maybe it's you doing that. If it's you, yeah, you're learning to not do that. Okay. It really is getting in touch with your emotions and honoring them a little bit more. And we don't want to go down this road of like, I'm going to block out toxic. You know, I, I get that. We want to <laughs> we stay in a good <laughs> why I did it that way um, we want to stay in a nice frequency but we can't do it for this you know out of the out of avoidance right or that we think other people should be different <laughs> right? they're not gonna be reflection 
Yeah. So th- there's something that hits you, you handle it, and then it this does feel a little bit like licking your wounds a bit. Someone else, the wheels might be coming off for them. They're not processing their emotions. They're coming at you, and now you're being forced to kind of reflect on how you feel about a situation. For some of you, this is family news. This is someone's moving. Someone's having a baby. And you're like, really, you all over there? Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> kind of thing. Or or someone's having a baby. This is for a select few out there. Someone's having a baby and just assuming you're going to help raise the child. So some of you, this might be your grandbaby. And, you know, maybe the person's kind of young and they're still in that kind of childlike stage. Because even when people are uh, teenagers coming into early adult years, you know, you're still not, you still don't have the life experience of having to figure things out on your own. You still have people helping you, right? And then there's this sort of thing like, well, it's your job to help me. You're my parent. You're supposed to do things for me. Not understanding like, <laughs> that's not when you turn 18. Okay, now you can go figure out your own way around, right? So I, you know, every family dynamic is different. Of course, if there's a child involved, that's much different. We gotta make sure that the child is protected and looked after and all that. But there's something that's a heavy burden for some of you, whether it's mental, emotional, or even something that you're physically asked to go do. But the beauty of that situation is, for some of you, you're like, that's the last time I'm gonna do that. And maybe it pushes you to speak in a way that you wouldn't have previously. This could be laying down the law. I'm not going to lie. It could be like, listen, I love you. It's not that I don't want to do things for you. Of course I do. But I feel like when I do things for you, you start to get into this sort of, uh, you know, it depends on the situation, but it's, it's like you don't get into this empowered place when I just do it for you. I think it's best that I step back and not be a crutch for you. You are very resourceful, and it's time that you understand that about yourself because that's adulting, <laughs> okay? So some of you, there's that dynamic, or again, this might be you. Are you super entitled to people's help? Because I don't want to, it's too hard, I can't, you know? I get that, and certainly when things are brand new, it is kind of hard to navigate that, but you can do it, right? That's the whole point of this time that's coming up. You're realizing just how much you're capable of, okay? Dreams, yeah. So this feels very much, I'm hearing like ancestral healing, but a lot of messages coming through dreams. Now people are like, oh, the angels come to me through my dreams and then I wake up and I have all this enlightenment. I mean, sure, great, that could happen. But really, especially during this time, especially for you guys focusing in on your energy, this feels like things coming up that need to be healed. So you might have, um, I don't know, a dream where you're lost and you can't find your way. It doesn't have to do with being lost in a grocery store and you're trying to read into the grocery store part of it, <laughs> right? I mean, maybe not. Um, it's more about the feeling of being lost and being lost even doing the simplest task like grocery shopping, right? Or do you feel like everyone in your dream is pushing you away? Or do you have those dreams where you're just screaming at somebody and you wake up and you're like, why was I screaming at that person in my dreams? I don't have any argument going with them right now. You have some deeper anger (laughs) that's wanting to come out, okay? So I think that's the dream healing part of it. Yeah, it's bringing you to a place of wisdom. And it's beautiful because when you start waking up in the morning, as these messages are coming through your dreams, you're, you're coming into the space and going, okay, I realize I'm hanging on to resentment about this. Or, okay, you know what? It's time to set a boundary around that. Or, you know what? It's time to give myself a little time, a little space, a little more nurturance. Yeah. I'm telling you, these are huge breakthroughs. And for you, it's mentally. It could be on all levels, but I just felt like mentally kind of understanding something. And not, I really want to put this out there. It's not like having an anger or resentment around it. You might start out like that, but you don't hang with it. It's more like, eh, there might be a motive. I'm fed up enough. But when you have that heart-to-heart conversation or 
Maybe that heart to heart conversation is with you. It is time for me to not be so scared. It is time for me to say, no coworker, I would love to help you, but it seems like you're not doing it because you're scared or like you don't know how to do this. So I think it's best that I sit and I show you how to use, what was it, freaking SAP? Was that the stupid, oh, I, I think I had to use that at one of the companies. It was always glitchy. You get all your work done, it erases it, and then you always have the IT person it's like, did you hit save? Did you try to reboot your, okay, IT people, this is an aside. Stop asking people if they rebooted their computer. Uh, they did, because it's 2021. Okay, we know that. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> did you hit save? No, and you know that, okay? So quit asking, all right? <laughs> anyway, what, <laughs> I think what's going on here is that like, you know, something might come up where somebody's just not comfortable with technology, for example, and they keep coming to you because they're fearful and they, they're feeling less than, and they know you're good at, can't you just do this? I, uh, I don't want to take a chance at failing or messing it up. Or they could just be jerks and trying to take advantage of you. We got that in the world too. <laughs> but it's that kind of thing where you might just sit down and go, okay, let me just teach you and show you that there's nothing to be afraid of, okay? I'll walk you through this one time and yes, you're free to ask me questions if you forget, but you're more than capable, right? You're, you're having that kind of wisdom for yourself and you're giving it to others as well. All right, we're gonna leave it there. Have a good month. Hi there, Scorpio. <laughs> Let's see what's going on for you for September 2021. We got Innocence. Okay, but the first thing I noticed about this card was that there, there's this little, like these two little kids and they're giving each other a kiss. And this is about connection. Okay, so the card says innocence, but this is really you releasing some hurt, anger, resentment, allowing yourself to transform, right? And listening. Yes, listening. So, yes, it's listening to guidance, but you're giving other people a fair shot to say what they got to say. Look out, Scorpios. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this says love. Okay, so we got this innocence card with the two little kids. They're connecting. They're having a little kiss. They're showing affection to one another. And, um, you know, this. <laughs> I love this little, look at the little boy's outfit. That is just so cute. You know, and they might just be like little best buddies or whatever, but they're being kind to one another, which I think is adorable. And then we have this love. It's like the love song because she's playing a flute here. And you're not gonna be able to see that perhaps, but up here there's a, a peace dove, a dove of peace. And it's like she's calling this in. Now, this is not so that you get manipulative and you start to like try to manifest like one specific person that you deem is right for you. People get so angry about that because why? It tests their ego. Listen, if somebody tells you, no, get away from me, get away from them. <laughs> like, leave them alone. That's not for you. Just go. <laughs> like, whatever. But yeah, there's something around innocence and love. And yes, this could definitely be self-love. But I think this is for some of you. Yeah, because we have this listening card. And this is more about listening to your partner or listening to your own heart. If you are somebody who's single, for example, and you say, no, I just want to spend time on my own and explore this self-love thing, take care of me, then that's beautiful. Or you might say, you know what? No, I'm, I'm ready to connect with another person, but I don't want to keep attracting in those same old kinds of love partners. Yeah. So you're going to be, your intuition is going to be screaming at you and saying, here are the things that you need to understand about how you do things. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you're somebody who's always attracted, I don't know, to the bad boy, the bad girl, you know, like the the fun, quote unquote, interesting person, and you always overlook the person who's just sitting in the corner reading a book, well, you don't know, you know the person reading the book might be the one who opens your mind and opens your heart, while the other one just destroys it all because they don't love themselves. Why else do you feel the need to just cause trouble all the time? Why can't you be peaceful and harmonious? <laughs> That's boring. Well, how easily are you entertained? I don't know. That's a question to ask yourself. 
Is it entertaining when someone doesn't show up when they say they will and you can't count on them and they keep letting you down? Or they're only thinking of themselves or they feel dangerous? Why would anybody want somebody who feels dangerous? You know what I mean? I'm going to get another card. <laughs> Camera shut off again. Discernment. So you are seriously breaking some very deep patterns. You are up leveling. You're saying, no, I'm not doing those old things, right? I'm not just going to be attracted to somebody because oh, they got money and status and power and all this nonsense, but really they don't know how to treat another human being right you're you're starting to learn yay because i'm a scorpio too yes i got a ton of scorpio stellium scorpio actually in western astrology so telling secrets what the heck does that mean okay well for some of you you thought you had to be quiet and pretend like nothing was happening but now you're realizing I mean, no, I don't have to protect someone. Uh, this is a weird message. Hang with me. So this could be somebody who's doing something really unscrupulous. And they're like, hey, cover for me. And, you know, you kind of didn't want to get involved. And you kind of didn't want any trouble. And you kind of didn't want any drama. And so maybe for a minute you stayed quiet. Now you don't have to. If they do it again, speak up. Do so safely. Now be careful if this is if you're interpreting this like you're in a love partnership and you are with somebody who's a little abusive or whatever make sure you go to local resources and protect yourself okay but this is definitely you're saying no really it's breaking out of being controlled so whatever situation you have going on even if it's just like life circumstances feel like they're controlling you you're breaking out of that and saying no i can take care of me i can be happy I don't have to wait for situations to fall into place so that I can feel at peace with myself. <laughs> like, no. And this also, I want to really drive this home. This isn't necessarily the energy of like, let me push, 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 push to force things to happen. I do that all the time because I think Scorpios can be very, um, we're very inventive. We're transformative, right? That's what we're known for surface level wise, right? Um, but, you know, we're always reinventing ourselves. And so we're used to the push. We're used to, I don't like this, let me change it. Here we go. Here we go, I'm going to change it. <laughs> That's not advised right now. Mostly because nothing that you force is going to stick. That's why we are constantly in this cycle of having to change things, right? Not just for our soul's growth and we're, you know, you know, having some turnover here. It's not even that. It's... Well, I don't know. I just feel this urge to change everything. So I'm going to wreck my life to change it just because i that's what I must do. I don't know. It's just the energy that's pulsing through me and I feel like I need to do that. So there is learning here to be discerning about what you take a wrecking ball to this month. Right? <laughs> I don't know why that's coming up. Um, you're free. Yeah, I'm hearing you're freeing yourself. You are freeing yourself. And it feels like it's from a mentality. It's from a mentality. People don't control me. I don't have to put up with abuse. I didn't even realize that was abuse. I was just used to my family and now I woke up. And that doesn't mean that you have to then turn around and get revenge on them. It just means now you know you have a good starting place for recovery and preserving your own happiness. Now, what comes of that then? It does feel like there's like this opening that occurs and now you might have a new job opportunity coming in or a love partner coming in or you if you are currently married and you're with somebody you start to understand your partner a little bit better and you're communicating in a nicer way you're connecting right so there's lots of pathways here to clear so that you have um first of all some gratitude for what is obviously but you're not taking it anymore that's what it is you're not taking it anymore I feel like some of you out there, because I heard uh, contradiction. So some of you are a walking contradiction. <laughs> There's that. But, you know, do you have people around you who never value what you know? They've always got to contradict everything you say. Even, like, you know, what I'm saying here is, like, um, I think an example 
a coworker argued with me about the Toledo airport one time. I'm from Northwest Ohio, um, the Toledo area. And she's telling me that it was a major international airport. No, that's Cleveland, okay, <laughs> or Columbus. It is not Toledo. Toledo is a, uh, what is a, what is the region? No, what are those called? Municipal airports? I don't remember. Maybe it's not that. Anyway, it's a small airport is what I'm getting at. And she argued with me. She's, I don't know where she's from, but she, this was in New York City. And she only passed through Ohio like one time and is now telling me how the, so it's that kind of feeling where I'm saying, I'm like, oh, are you talking about Cleveland? No, because Toledo's the, the small, nope, nope. It was, it's a major international. I'm like, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta sit back and be like, this is great. <laughs> Look at her go. I mean, geez, you know, but for some of you out there, it feels very invalidating, doesn't it? And it can be like a form of gaslighting where you start to feel crazy. I know I start questioning myself going, did Toledo like expand into an international airport? And I could have been doing that the whole time instead of flying into Cleveland and having a two hour drive back home. Really? Huh? So, you know, watch out for stuff like that. This might be that kind of time where you're just like, nope, and walking away from it. You're not going to participate in this anymore. Listening to guidance, that's going to be coming through. Listening to your partner, listening to your heart. These are all these things that are opening up for you. And I'm really excited for you because I think this is going to be a beautiful time, but maybe not necessarily the smoothest because it can be painful to have these realizations of, you know, I'm just so sick of this, right? There's still that, that moment of like, Ugh. <laughs> right? frustration fed up however you want to see it and then you can move on from there okay so we're going to leave it there guys have a beautiful month hi there Sagittarius let's see what's going on for you for September 2021 please remember that just because I say it's a month and a year doesn't mean that you can't watch this at any time there could always be a message for you all right I immediately went for the Archangel Michael deck for all of you let's see what's going on Innocence. That's so weird. That uh, the, in a different deck. Innocence. Was it? I think it was for Scorpio. If you have Scorpio in your chart, go back and double check me. Hold on. I got the. Yeah. This is what came up for Scorpio, if I remember correctly. All right. So this card says, "Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me, and all others." This is spiritual sidestepping. Okay. This is an old deck. It's a Doreen Virtue deck. Doreen Virtue was like the queen of spiritual sidestepping. That's just my opinion. If you don't like it, that's okay. Uh, we don't need to fight about it. Okay, that's it's just one of the things that I really could not work with. <laughs> but otherwise, the decks are pretty good. Um, help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. Now, when we're sitting there saying, you know, uh, there's innocence in everybody. There's beauty in everybody. That is true. The reason why I call it spiritual side, uh, sidestepping is that we want to be a little careful with that. Because what ends up happening is that if you're an empath, and you hear this and you're like, oh, well, there's beauty in it. Yeah, isn't there always beauty in someone? And you're always latching on to that and trying to bring it out. Next thing you know, you're in an abusive situation and you don't know how to get out. And your innocence is gone. Right? So just be careful with that. Let me tune to this a little bit here. It's finding your own innocence. It's realizing you want to get back to basics. You want to get back to what you learned in kindergarten. You want to get back to that space where, yeah, there could have been a couple of mean kids in kindergarten, but for the most part, everybody was a buddy of someone else. You know, like everybody pretty much got along. You know, you weren't taught yet, hopefully, to start hating or judging others, right? So they just keep saying getting back to basics. Back to basics. Simplifying. Simplifying. This could be decluttering your emotions, maybe your physical home. But you're just kind of laying low. Definitely laying low because you need to recharge. Uh, you need to recharge for this. New beginnings and a fresh start. Now, I don't really feel like that happens right whenever you're watching this. I'm not sure that this happens like within four weeks, but you get prepped for it. Okay. Thank you for bringing new opportunities. This is, this is the time new opportunities are coming in and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. That's also the part that you're doing right now. 
fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. Again, so it's all prep work <laughs> and it can't be forced. That's going to be a big one here. So don't try so hard. See, we're always trying to run away from the present moment. We're always trying to get to something that might be better instead of just embracing what is right now and what we can learn from that. Okay, so definitely, and you know, that new opportunity could also be a new way of looking at things, taking a fresh perspective, finding a new way for your health, how you take care of you. All right, prayer will help this situation. I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to be, you, you all who are watching this, you are so strong because stuff's going to be happening. And yet all of the signs, and I've done most of them now, I think I have three more signs to do after you everybody's been in this very like i'm ready for my lessons i'm ready to do it <laughs> right? that's beautiful all right so prayer will help the situation dear god and archangel michael and anybody else you pray to i ask for your divine intervention in this situation i welcome your help and trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace i need a miracle and ask that you send one to me in this situation quickly thank you and amen so there could be something coming up that you know, it could be this new opportunity or for you guys, it's because of the major changes that are happening out in the world, the major shifts that are occurring, weirdly, it pops open a new opportunity. So some of you might have lost your job. You know, I mean, there are things that were once really, really popular that now are really hard to come by because things have changed like Uber drivers and Lyft drivers, at least here in Colorado Springs, it's really hard to get a ride anywhere. It's really hard. You're waiting forever and they're wanting to charge you like 90 bucks to go five miles. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, you know, people, that's just one example where people might go, you know what, this doesn't work for me anymore. Uh, but something happens out in the world and now there's something new I can engage in. I can go this direction. It does make me feel like an entrepreneur. It does make me feel like I'm working for myself and creating my own schedule. But that's just one example. Okay. Uh, yeah, a prayer. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Hold on. Prayer will help because people are trying to pull you back down. And somehow that ties into the innocence card. And I'm not really sure what they're getting at here. Like something. Um, you know what this is? I'll tell you exactly what it is because I just figured it out. This is an old situation that has robbed you of your innocence. It has made you get so disconnected from basics right and you're realizing it's time for a fresh start uh but you don't have to push on it you don't have to be scared and you don't have to push on it right now like i said it's it's the prep work it's getting you prepped for it for the new uh shifting changing situation and some of you out there i think are very much saying oh i know exactly what that is i don't think you do yes i do good luck with that come on back here and watch again <laughs> let me know how that goes no it, it's something that you think it's going to be in place but it goes away it's really having to reevaluate plans there's this card sorry i'm just picking up on the message here because this is you and you and your loved ones are safe but that's because there's this change happening and someone again wants to pull you back and it's really interfering Maybe they mean well. Maybe they're trying to sabotage you because they don't want you to be happy. Whatever the deal is, don't be afraid to break away. All right, so you and your loved ones are safe. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. And you can name all your loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace. Um, and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. So things are going to work out just fine. But it, it really, I it just thought of an example. Um... The last job I worked at, abusive, toxic. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. It was horrible. So finally, I woke up. Uh, there was a lot of game playing and kind of taunting. It was bizarre. It was so bizarre. But I finally woke up, and I thought my boss would be happy to see me go. Asked me to stay a month. Like, I was prepped for this person to kick me out the moment I gave my notice so I could just leave that day. Wanted me to stay a month. Why? Because there's a shift happening. There's a change happening. And this person wasn't ready for it. And so wanted to hold me back. Right? Yeah. And, you know, two weeks would have been fine. Actually, a couple of days would have been fine. You know, they could have found somebody else. But don't be afraid. 
You know, so if other people are like, oh, you're leaving right now, you got to do this right now. How dare you? Why can't you think more of me? And maybe the answer is because it's always about you. And I'm thinking about me now. That's you recapturing your innocence. That's you coming back to that inner child, that purity, your true soul essence and doing what's right for you. All right. We're going to leave it there. Have a good month. Take care. Hello, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you for September 2021. Please remember that even though I am putting September and 2021 on here, you can listen to this anytime, whenever you find it. There is a message here for you. So already I'm hearing going hard. So something is going to call your attention, but it has, it's going to, eh, for some of you, it could stress you like, only because it was a shock. It sort of came out of left field. <laughs> it was sort of like, wait, what? Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? This could be a surprise promotion that you're not really feeling like you're ready for. Uh, this could be somebody, for some of you, this is you being thrust out into the spotlight. And it's very unexpected. So this could be someone coming and saying, hey, do you want to be a model? Hey, and I'm not talking to people who are wanting to be models. Okay, I'm talking whatever it is that you want <laughs> or you thought you wanted, something comes out of nowhere. And it's something you can't really say no to because it's like, how am I ever going to say, you know, I don't know, somebody offered me a role in a movie and I said no. Like, you're not going to say no, <laughs> right? But it's going to be weird nonetheless. Now, the first card out for you is kindred spirits. So this is a time where people are coming together. For some of you, this could be, you know, uh, getting a mentor. Maybe you get an agent or a manager if you're in the entertainment industry or a literary agent if you need that. Or you get accepted to business school. Somebody's going <laughs> to, some of you, um, you're, you're getting, or you got, yeah, you just got accepted into business school and you're going to be starting that. But these are people coming along to help you. But I'm telling you, they're coming out like it feels like they're late. They're late to the party, whoever these kindred spirits are. And they come rushing in. And yeah, this could be love too. Where someone comes in and says, but I love you. You know, just because somebody comes in and <laughs> says this. And it's could have been somebody that you were hung up on for the longest time. I'm telling you, a lot of you are going to go, really? Like... I already, you put me through so much. I had to process that and come through and now you're coming back. It's that kind of feeling. Uh, but with the job, this feels like something brand new. Let's get more cards. But your support team is starting to come around you. Your star is rising. Your star is rising. Now here's the thing. It's all about intention. If you become a pompous jerk, um, if you think like, oh, of course I meant to be a star, you will fail. Don't be a pompous jerk. <laughs> no, but this is genuinely anything that you're trying to do to feed your ego. Remember, listen to your sun, moon, rising, and even Venus signs because that will give a fuller picture. Uh, I have in Western astrology, at least, I have uh, my midheaven in Capricorn. So, you know, look at the whole snapshot of the energies that would be going on for you. Yeah, they just keep saying unexpected opportunities, but they're like wild. Okay, this is like somebody coming up and saying, hey, you want to be an underwear model? And maybe you're a plus size woman and you're kind of, you've always been taught that like, I'm not supposed to be seen. I'm disgusting. I'm horrible. I'm a little, you know, and somebody comes up and says, I don't see that. Come on over here. We, we, want, we want you to be represented. You know, it could be that kind of thing. All right. What in the heck? This one's discernment. Look at these two cards. Kindred spirits and discernment. So again, first and foremost, be careful of the magical thinking and the spiritual sidestepping. Oh, we got this kindred spirits and then like this, you know, covert narcissist walked into my life. That must be my new bestie. No, discernment. Pay attention to how you feel. And don't let people tell you this, you know, I've experienced this firsthand where, you know, I would pick up and kind of get a read on people. I'm not diving into their souls or anything, but I would get a read on people. And I could even kind of feel the kind of stuff that they pull and what their tools of power are. But 
I would get feedback from people who couldn't do that, that I was being too harsh and too judgmental and I'm just not social enough and I'm not good at this. And so I believed them on not trusting my own intuition on things and I would go into these horrible situations and yeah, you'd end up getting betrayed, um, but it didn't matter. The people who were guiding me the other way, they didn't care until it happened to them, right? So I'm offering that as an example for a very good reason. Have discernment and listen to yourself. If you come across somebody and, you know, that's not like mentally like, oh, I don't like her shoes. <laughs> so I think that shows poor judgment. I'm going to judge her now. And bleh, no, that's gross. Don't do that. Um, but this is like, I, I feel like I'm going to get controlled. I feel like this person is draining me. It's that kind of stuff. All right. Grace, you are not sacrificing anything. Approach everything with grace. And that means taking care of yourself. So if you feel like you're getting really stressed by something coming out of the blue, right? This also could be like a major... All right. Okay, this is specific. But um, <laughs> I'm getting the feeling of like an engineer. I don't even know what kind of engineer. But like you do your kind of engineering and then someone comes and says we need your help right now on this. And it's not exactly the kind of thing that you do. You can, and you'll do so, you'll do whatever it is safely, but you're not used to it. So that's where you're gonna have to plug into grace, okay? That's where you're gonna have to like believe in yourself. And that's really what's kind of going on this month. You're learning to believe in yourself. A lot of you, <clears throat> excuse me, are not going to be very comfortable with getting shoved into the spotlight. Uh, for some of you, it's a web show. Someone says, hey, you're incredible at fixing things. You know, we have this online streaming service. Do you want to come over here and do a whole show around how to do this? And you're like, what? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so just be ready for that. Now, if you are if you get to the end of this and you're like, this was dumb. None of it happened. I don't, I don't know how you do things. Look at yourself, okay? <laughs> also, these are general readings. So general readings... Um, the reason why I don't do predictions too often is because energy is constantly changing. I don't, again, I don't know what you do with your life, okay? <laughs> and faith. All right, so beautiful. So this is really a month where you're learning how to have faith within yourself and to allow yourself to explore, to not just say no to things because you're scared or because, you know, you don't want people coming for you or, you know, it does have that kind of thing of I don't want to rise up too much because someone will come get me. And I know Capricorns always have this um, reputation for, at least from what I've heard and from the people I've known, you know, like having a reputation for wanting to be successful, being hungry for it. But I think Capricorns are very, um, again, this energy that's coming up. I shouldn't say all Capricorns. <laughs> you get, and remember, you got your whole chart to look at. So the energy that's coming up here is I'm more comfortable working hard little by little than being thrust into a situation where it's all the duties on me all right now and I wasn't ready for this kind of thing, okay? So, but again, you're, you're learning to have faith in what the universe is bringing you. I'm excited for you. I think it's gonna be so funny. You guys have got to comment down below if something weird happens. Like, oh my God, like I was walking down the sidewalk and you know, I got pulled onto a movie set or I was walking down the sidewalk and it, it is that energy of getting discovered very much so not for everybody obviously but because it just depends on where you are you know and if you you have free will so if you say no I don't want that to happen well you can block that energy but um it's it's forcing it's forcing change for one that's happening to everybody but it has this feeling of um it, it goes against your regular process is what I want to say it goes against your regular pro I'm laughing because I would just love to see your faces we're like the boss got mad and dramatically stomped out and did the whole like, eh, you know, <laughs> thing. And now, you know, the highest executive is coming to you and saying, uh, take that corner office, go now, <laughs> hurry, <laughs> come on. So it's that sort of thing. Good luck. All right, we're going to leave it there. <laughs> Have a good month, guys. Take care. Hi there, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you for September 2021. They are actually timeless, so whenever you find it, that's fine. But this is when I am releasing it. Also, please make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, uh, Venus sign, your midheaven. 
Try to get the fullest picture that you can, if you care to. If you're like, I don't have time for that, that's fine. <laughs> you do whatever's right for you. Balancing. Yeah, there's this, uh, you guys are kind of getting ready for the, well, here in the Northern Hemisphere, it would be the fall. But for the months to come, it feels like I just need to reset, reevaluate, and settle my brain. That's what I want to say. Like, I need to settle my brain. Because I'm getting the image of Frankenstein, the Frankenstein monster. Not that you're a monster, but, uh, you know, like there's just all this jolting energy that was there to bring you back to life. I feel like the universe was coming in and bringing things to, you know, <laughs> make you come alive. Uh, whether that was some new opportunities, some new perspectives, you know, new people coming in. But now it is time to harmonize all of those things that have come in. All right. And they're saying this is a time of filling in the blanks. Filling in the blanks. So it's like, okay, you had, a, you might have even had like a pretty major something <laughs> happen last month or the month before. And now you're kind of settling into acceptance, accountability maybe for some of you some realizations again for all of you that you're kind of more the more scattered sign at least for this message because everybody's kind of doing their own thing but regardless it's taking everything that has occurred and you're bringing it down it's a very deep soul level thing because it's like you're taking all these experiences and you're bringing it down to like a life review right so it's an in life life review <laughs> and you're balancing that and har harmonizing that and you're making a, a decision to make different choices going forward in one way or another okay gentleness yeah this is a very low key, i mean it, there's all this like jolting kind of stuff happening but you're just fine trying to find that low key moment where you're like okay enough <laughs> enough of getting pulled in too many different directions so this is saying gentleness whatever comes up even if it is a difficult situation please make sure that you are being gentle with yourself and others because you're gonna see how nice that feels right it, it is um stop and smell the roses it's I'm going, there's another sign that got that too. I don't remember who it was. Virgo, maybe? It was very like, okay, I'm going to step back. Not, some of you might have this reaction of like, oh my God, there's just too much drama. And you don't realize that you're the one who came in and caused it all. <laughs> you came in and you had your mouthiness and you had your, you know, pushiness or whatever. And then you just left and you left a mess. So some of you are going to be kind of looking at that and going, eh, yeah, huh. Maybe I should change my ways or, you know, something like that. But again, it's not so that you beat yourself up. It's, a, it's so you balance it and you have this awareness. Now, for some of you out there, uh, someone has been that way with you or you've been in some, it's disharmony and chaos. It's chaos. So this is that time you're resetting. As I said, you're kind of getting centered and centered without expectation is what they're saying centered without expectation so i think what that means mm -hmm. i'm gonna let everything kind of flow and this is kind of not fighting the universe anymore but saying show me show me and and take me that direction whatever direction is next for me and there's hope this is where you're getting this fresh beginning you know a new start it's like floating down the lazy river it's uh you know fighting <laughs> fighting the rapids and then you're like okay i am done you hop it off that you put on your good shades and you get into the lazy river and you're like okay universe where because i'm tired <laughs> like, where, wherever you want to take me but some of you are exhausting yourselves just in how you approach things okay and so that's changing to in nature this is all detoxifying and resting that is really what is going on here um i just heard electrifying situations coming to a close electrifying situations coming to a close now for some of you out there again here in the northern hemisphere we're coming out of summer yeah right okay so we had like here we have labor day and all that stuff in the beginning of september um and we're just getting ready to transition into fall so summer is like high travel time family vacations everybody's going nuts at the pool <laughs> there was that what was that halo top was it halo top had the advertisement where the woman comes to the pool with the radio and she's like i should turn this down but no she turns it up and the party starts i was mad at that brand i usually eat 
Halo Top ice cream, I was ready to boycott it. I'm like, don't be teaching people to be rude, okay? <laughs> do not do not be an enabler. You take your stupid radio to the pool, you're kind of a jerk, okay? I said it. I don't want to have to listen to your stupid music. <laughs> That's just me. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, you are learning how to, because they're, they're saying you're kind of uh, tweaking. <laughs> Jeez, I, I'm, I'm long gone now. <laughs> you're learning how to tweak um, how you approach things and what you allow. And you're not going to be able to figure that out until you sort of unplug maybe from a crazy summer is what I was getting at. You're unplugging from, you know, all the tourists. If you're in a tourist town like I am. You know, the tourists finally start to leave and you can get back to enjoying your town again. <laughs> we can get back to the Garden of the Gods if we want. Um, go hiking and all of that. So it's that kind of thing. We're kind of decompressing. I think that's what I want to call it. Um, the charge is still there, but you're getting ready for what's to come in the fall. That's not the fall for you in the Southern Hemisphere, right? But in the next coming months. Okay. I want to fill this out a little bit more because I feel like there's this like jolt, 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 like really what it is is it feels like you guys have not been gentle with yourselves. You haven't been in balance and you're a little fried. <laughs> you're a little fried out. So that means you have to go to a therapist, be discerning about who you go to because again, I've been saying this to just because someone's a therapist doesn't mean just because they got through the system doesn't make them good. So be very discerning about that but if you are experiencing anxiety check with a professional if you're experiencing depression check with a professional if you are experiencing paranoia you know all those things these are all these kinds of uh, sort of expressions that could be coming up around this energy now from this point it feels like you're kind of starting to funnel into a new way of life i know that sounds pretty grandiose but <laughs> but it's like i'm not going to put myself in that situation ever again or i'm not going to take things ever again i'm not going to go down that road of hatred and control and abuse or let people abuse me you know i'm not going to go down that road anymore yes so it's figuring things out it's laying low recharging your batteries letting these epiphanies come to you and then you'll know how to proceed. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. Have a good month. Take care. Hi there, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you for September 2021. Please remember that even though I have a month and a year on this, it is timeless. So whenever you find your way to this video or to this message, there is something here for you. Please also make sure that you are watching for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or even midheaven signs. Okay. Now, I don't know if astrologers would. I'm not actually an astrologer. I just use this to divide up. The readings so that I can tune into different frequencies but um that's what I feel like I should tell you so there you go <laughs> all right so we just had a card flipping out and I've been getting this kind of message for a lot of signs it's a repeating pattern here and it's sanctuary this is getting protection this is hiding away a little bit and like I said a lot of people are getting this kind of message where it's like okay I've been pushed too far not to the point where you're like gonna snap necessarily, but I've been pushed so far, I need a moment. Aquarius just got this. I just feel like I've been like sizzled out by too many things coming at me. And I'm now not handling things in a nice way, you know, because I'm just tired and, you know, I'm being reactionary, being very reactionary. All right, so you're retreating, taking sanctuary. <laughs> For some of you, this is disagreements. Sorry, that was really loud. Sorry. Um, this is disagreements within a marriage, a partnership, business partners. You guys are not seeing eye to eye on things. And for some of you, you're realizing, holy cow, this is really a wake-up moment where it, it could be a spouse that you know is like – I hate to say this, but it has been toxic and has maybe raised your kids to be toxic. And you just didn't want to see it until now. So that's for some of you out there. Yeah, you're still trying to have compassion here, but it has, it, it might lay you out. Now, there's going to be a positive outcome from this. It's just a tough time to get through, but this could be kind of, I'm going to back away. I'm going to pray on it. She's like, it looks like she's praying there right and uh there's some vulnerability here and emotions so make sure your emotions are not 
getting out of hand, getting out of control. So eh, something kind of gets revealed here. Okay, just hang with me here. And intuition. It's something that you knew. You knew, but you didn't want to see it. And now it's here. And now you kind of don't have a choice but to face it. And what's more, it also reflects back to you where you haven't been healthy, where you haven't been fair, where you have allowed others to not be fair to you. You feel me? It, it's that kind of like eye-opening. <laughs> Just like, whoa, whoa, huh, huh, what? <laughs> you know, this whole thing. And it could very much, it could be like, you know, because there's sanctuary and intuition. It could be like intuition overload, right? And... I know some of you out there, you're like, I'm wishful thinking in, right? So it's not actual manifesting. It's wishful thinking in of a new career, for example. And you can't figure out why it's not coming. Well, it's because you have anger and resentment around what you currently do. Maybe you have resentment around not being paid enough, not being respected. Now, that can be another level of self-sabotage from an energetic standpoint. Why? Because if you were coming, it's not just the resentment and the anger, it's the expectation of power and validation. And you are not validating me enough. I am not seeing enough appreciation. And we all want to be appreciated for what we do. But a lot of us will start going down the crazy road with our entitlement You hear some of these people out there who think they should be tipped 40% <laughs> for whatever, right? Um, you know, it's all those kinds of things where we get really ahead of ourselves. And if you ask yourself, well, why, why do I have all these high expectations about what I'm getting back from my job or my career choice or volunteering with the PTA or whatever? Because um, I'm hearing like some of you have this real fear that your needs are not going to be covered. So that's interesting, right? So let's take that job situation. Let's say you don't feel uh, respected or appreciated. That stinks. We all want to be appreciated. But it means more to you because you want to be validated. You might even want to be the boss. But why? Why? I want to be in charge. I want to feel that power. I want to feel like I have, you know, I'm above others because if I am, they're less likely to hurt me. That's just one scenario, right? So you could break that down and just, you know, again, I just made up an example on the spot, but you could break it down for you and keep going back and asking yourself, why is it like that? Why did I want to be a professional musician? And I started to get disgruntled when I showed up and people didn't treat me like a star. I started to get mad when I didn't become famous. That's not fair. Life is not fair. I'm going to pout. Got to look at why you were doing that in the first place. Because the second we disconnect from the love of the art, we fail. Even if you're still making a ton of money, even if people, if, if you are signing autographs, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Are you happy? Are you showing up? That's what you're learning in the weeks to come. You're learning where... You know, maybe your goals will change entirely because you realize you were going after something just for validation. Um, there was a, a place that I worked in that I wanted to go a certain direction, which later on I realized if I had gone in that direction in that company, I would have hated it. But I had this weird fantasy that, <laughs> that this line of work involved me hiding out in a cubicle with my coffee and, and I just did my little work quietly and everybody left me alone unless there was like the occasional staff meeting or something. But I just wanted to be left alone. But if I went back through that process, why did I want to be left alone? Because I was in pain. Why was I in pain? I went through a huge dark night of the soul over, uh, quite frankly, an abusive relationship that had broken off. I wanted to feel like I was building my life. You see what I'm saying? Like there's, there's going to be the gift of some situation right in front of you that is going to help you understand yourself. 
so much better. That's the whole point of it. (laughs) Again, that's not a revolutionary thought, but I want to bring that to you because that's the kind of energy that's coming up. This is what you're going to be working through, okay? Looking at why you feel the way you do, where you get frustrated, what are your expectations, and why do you have those expectations? So there's a potential here for this to be a very, very freeing time unless you want to keep being in denial. So whatever it is that you're in denial about, that's going to start coming up for you. Okay, now that's going to be pinging off of things that are going on out in the world that can get you upset, that can get you troubled. Um, For some of you, that might affect you directly. But even that is shifting your mindset. It's opening your heart. It's making you have realizations about what you believe in. And you will start to say, this choice that I've made, is it worth it? This career path I chose, is it worth it? What do I really want to do right now? Well, I have dreams of being a rock star. We'll go back to that. I have dreams of being a rock star. Okay, so not making music. Being seen as someone who gets worshipped. See the difference? Okay. Is it worth it for the adoration of strangers when you're not around your family that you love? Let's pretend that you... (laughs) But let's just say that you have a good relationship with your family. Not everybody does. Um, But, you know, is it worth that sacrifice? These are all of those little swirling topics and things that you're going to be connecting into most likely. And that's going to be your way forward. When you work all that stuff out, these discoveries give you clarity. You know what choices to make next. All right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.